28% of the calories of regular spaghetti. You don't want to miss out, so keep watching as we learn how to make this dish. Hi, I'm Charu, a health and life coach. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here is where I coach others to get healthy in mind, body and soul. And I coach others to get to the optimum weight, reduce blood sugar and cholesterol and ultimately get what they want. I do this by sharing yoga and meditation practices and healthy plant-based nutrition tips. In today's dish, I am going to show you how you can just consume 28% of the calorie intake of a regular one cup of cooked pasta. So let's see the kinds of squashes we are used to. You are probably familiar with our good friend butternut squash. Keep an eye for these in fall, they are awesome. You probably have also seen a variation of zucchini. They can come in a few different colors. This is actually really, this was this big from my backyard. I used up half of it, half of it is still left. Also delicious, very low calories. And then there is this pretty patty pan squash also really very very light and it takes on the flavors of sauces but i'm guessing that most of my friends have not yet seen this squash it's called spaghetti squash and when you bake it or microwave it for your uh, shorter time then it comes out in strands like spaghetti but the difference is it's full of fiber and low in carbs so you can eat a ton a truckload of this and not see it on your belly. So we're going to make this in 20 minutes flat. In 20 minutes, I'm going to stick in, we're going to be very efficient with our time. You're going to stick it in the oven for 20 minutes to let it bake. And in those 20 minutes, I'm going to show you how to prepare an awesome sauce that will really pair well with this pasta. So if you're a busy professional on your lunch break, you just need half an hour flat. I needed more time because you can probably see I have my GoPro, I have to set up lights to make this video. You're probably going to just take half an hour maximum from start to finish. So let's go and make spaghetti squash pasta. The ingredients for the sauce are pretty straightforward. I use one onion that's going to act as one cup, four um, thin Thai green chilies, and this is optional, a one inch piece of ginger, a whole head of garlic, we won't use all of it, a tomato paste that I like to use, and uh, our spaghetti squash. To prep for the sauce, I'm going to um, lightly peel the ginger, very lightly scrape off the peel, and then chop a one inch piece of ginger. And then once I've done that, this is going to be very, very finely minced ginger. If you don't like the flavor of ginger, leave it out. Once it's done, I like to do all of the things that are not smelly. The onions are the last. I'm going to slit the green chilies and chop them really, really small. If you're using it, do that to get the maximum heat. Then I will dice the onions and uh, that's basically all the prep work for the sauce. Slice the squash in half. Use a chef's knife. I started to use my uh, knife that I use for chopping things really fine, um, but try to get a chef's knife. Cut the spaghetti squash lengthwise from stem to tail. This squash is really tough and hard, so just uh, be cautious around it. And if you like, you can also hold the squash in a dishcloth that would keep it steady. Um, Next, you also want to scoop out the seeds and stringy bits of flesh from inside the squash. Um, try not to remove the flesh which we want for the uh, squash. The inside should be clean and uh, you can get rid of the seeds if you like. I like to save them and I do like to roast them with some spices. And then once you've done this on both the sides, both the halves, and uh, go ahead and place the squash in a, I actually uh, placed it in a baking tray uh, covered with foil and um, I also uh, sprinkle the inside, the cut sides with olive oil before I uh, stuff the squash in the oven and I baked it for approximately 30 minutes and then after that I broiled it for about 5 to 10 minutes. It really depends on your squash, how hard it is and how much longer it can take. Um, and I baked at 375 degrees for approximately 30 minutes. Uh, check at, at your squash and make sure that um, it's done. 
Uh, how do you know when it's done? It's going to be tender. You should be able to pierce a fork and uh, you'll be able to scrape out the spaghetti into strands. Let it cool down a bit before you're ready to scrape out the strands. To make the sauce in a pan, I'm going to, my pan is actually wet because I like to rinse out my pan before I use it. I'm going to let that, the heat dry off the pan completely and add four tablespoons of good cooking oil. And then add in just the smidge of uh, cumin. I don't like to add too much. This is a very strong spice. And then drop in the onions, the green chili, the ginger. And I'm also going to add the sea salt and sauté till it's caramelized and the onions are cooked and soft. I'll add in the turmeric, the black pepper. These are both really, really good spices. Work together as antioxidants along with the fat. And just let the onions cook nicely. Take your time with this step. Don't rush it. The onions need to be caramelized. The squash is really mild tempered and the sauce is what's going to add the body to this very delicate, elegant squash. Once the onions have a nice caramelized texture, this is when I'll add in my tomato sauce. I'm adding four teaspoons of the tomato paste. Um, you can add more if you like. And give the everything a whirl and then I'm going to add in one cup of water because the tomato uh, paste is pretty thick and this will, uh, the water will add the nice, um, the right texture for the sauce. Allow it all to come together, let it boil and we are hoping to reach a, reach a stage when the oil separates from the tomato paste and then we know it's done. I forgot to mention, we also add hing in there. Drop in the basil if you're using. I have some in my backyard so I just pinched it few basil leaves and added it to the sauce. By the time the sauce is done, it's now time for the uh, to remove the squash from the oven. Uh, hold the spaghetti squash in your hand and take a fork and basically scrape out the inside so you get all these nice long strands. I, I, if you can give it a few minutes to wait before you pull out the strands. It uh, and makes the process easier. A few moments later. So scoop all the strands into a bowl. I'm going to use, there is a lot of pasta that comes out of this. So I'm going to use um, a half of a half, if that makes sense. I'm going to just uh, scoop out half of a half and make a nice ring in the center is where I will add the tomato sauce. The garlic is nice and nicely roasted, so I'm going to pull out the garlic. It's still very hot, so I'm not able to use my hands directly. Uh, I'm going to still clean out the inside of the garlic, the little uh, stem inside. I'm going to pull that out and then just uh, smash up the garlic and I'm going to add that to the tomato sauce that is on the stove. You don't need to uh, simmer it anymore. You can if you want, let it come to another heat. Um, just add it in. Now that I have my uh, plate with the spaghetti uh, squash in there, I'm going to, in the center where there's a well, I'm going to add in the tomato sauce that we just made. And then to that, I'm going to add uh, a few other things. To the plate of the pasta with the tomato sauce, I have done a little decoration with some basil. And then I'm going to add in some more of the tomato sauce just to get the scale and balance right. Um, and then I'm going to add in uh, some walnuts. You can roast them or you can add them just raw. I'm going to crumble them a little bit. Add the walnuts and I'm also going to add in nutritional yeast. Do a taste test and um, add some more black pepper if you wish. Um, really depends on your taste. And that's it. We're done.
tasting the fruits of labor. So on top I have, on top of my pasta sauce, first of course I need a ring of my spaghetti squash. And then on top of that I added the pasta sauce that I made. And then on top of that I added walnuts. And on top of that I sprinkled some nutritional yeast. And then I have my gluten-free bread. So this is a pretty complete meal with low glycemic index. Gale mm. Street Pasta. That is so delicious. Please do try it. It's available everywhere in local grocery stores. And if you're a gardener, you might want to start growing these our winter squashes. So yummy. Lightweight and get packed up. The way I love my food. Tasting the roasted garlic now. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, hit like, comment below, let me know if this worked out for you and what other um, dishes you'd like to see. If there's any other squash dishes you're interested in, let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.